Hey, this is a morning class that is more traditional than usual. Um, it'll be a good stretch throughout your body and center your mind for the day. Let's go. Let's wake up together, shall we? Mm. Come to the friend that we met. I'll turn this way. <laughs> Switch up. Lift up your spine. And exhale, come forward. Bring your hands down. So let's take it slow. For the first one, hug your forehead. If you can. This is literally just falling out of bed for me so <laughs> take your time Uttanasana stay belly in if you can straighten the legs if that's too much for now bend them shoulders away from your ears inhale lift the chest lift away from your sitting bones chest up Shoulders away from your ears. Right leg back. Stay and breathe. Let's see if we can wake up the body in minimal time. I think I'm going to choose more traditional way to wake today. So just a warm up maybe. Lower your hips. Breathe into the right hip flexor. Feel how it's lengthening all the way up to your L1, L2. It's attaching, the psoas is attaching up there. The more you're contracting your psoas, the more it will pull on your spine. When you learn to strengthen and stretch it, it has to be strengthening too, not just stretching. That is when you can get control of that sort of the pain. It's not all reason for back pain, but it's one. Bring your left foot back. Belly in. Around the spine. Chest forward. Grab the floor. And come all the way on the tippy toes. Breathe. Relax the neck. Lower. Lift, push, and pull forward. Don't touch your knees. Stay here. It's a great posture for triceps, deltoid, pecs, but push back. Belly in. Lift the hips. Relax the neck. Left foot forward. So stretching into the left, same leg. One more time. Chest up. Breathe. It'll get faster in a minute. Chest up. Exhale. Chest up. Stretch up. And come forward. Interlace your fingers. And pull your hands away from your head. Towards the floor. Pull the kneecaps up. Lock the knees. Belly in. Reach the top of the head to the floor. Hands up. Lift the chest. Left foot back. Stay and try to breathe your hips low. So if you 
really just fell out of bed. There's not much you have to think about because your mind is slow and receptive. You can feel into the body. If you're already distracted from your day and your stress, pick a mantra. Ask yourself, what do I want? You don't answer it, you just ask. What do I need? Intention is that form of attention that will transform anything from your practice to your mind. Step back, belly up, round the spine, chest forward, grab the floor, butt tight, legs tight, breathe. Ready, lower, lift, push, lengthen the butt up, breathe yourself down to the floor if you can reach with the head, that's the traditional Yenga way to do Adho stretching the shoulder joints. It doesn't mean that you have to do it because it depends greatly on your shoulder flexibility. Never do it. It's not necessary. Right leg forward. Belly in. Lengthen back. One more time into the left psoas. Left hip flexor. Left thigh. Chest up. Breathe. We're going to Increased dynamics. Left foot forward. Stretch your chest. Exhale. Lower. Tighten the legs. To relax the hamstrings. Stretch your arms over your head. Towards the floor. And inhale. Stretch up. Lift and back. Come forward. One more time. Interlace fingers. Belly in. Hands down. Lift your chest. Exhale. Jump or step. Lower. Lift. Hold. Push. Back. Breathe. One more time. Head on the floor. Right leg up, open up, stretch your hip and lower, touch the hip, inhale, up, stretch it and touch, lift and step. Come into Skandarasana, just a moment. We're just stretching into the joints, straighten the leg, flex the foot, lower, right leg up, come forward, lower, lift, push, over the leg up, touch the head if you can, keep the leg up, let's just get a little bit more into that right leg, into the left back side. I know you like it. <laughs> Good. Come down. And other side. Let's do knees, chest and chin before. Chest up. Grab the floor. Push. Belly up. To the spine. Left leg up. And stretch your hip. Touch your forehead. Inhale, stretch. And exhale, touch. Lift. Touch. Stretch. 
Stretch up. Step. It's going to last for a moment. Just the moment. Just stretch a little bit into the hip joint. And then straighten your legs. Flex the foot. Lower your elbows if you can. Push into the ground. Lift the left leg up. Up a little closer. Head down. Keep the left leg up. Breathe. We're going to do headstand next. It's the traditional way how Iyengar would warm up initially before he used all the props. So I think it's the best way to warm up. Come back onto your knees. If you don't know how to do headstand, just check out the tutorial. I can link it here. And then you come back when you're better at it. Mm. Let me turn around. Okay, so interlace your fingers after you measure the distance. Bring the head down. Push belly in. Lift the legs. It's important to be exactly between the ears on the top of your head. On the floor. Because what happens is any other position, your neck will be compressed in some way. You want the neck to be long and almost relaxed. It's carrying the weight, but it's not stressed. Shoulders away from your ears. If you're more proficient, you can relax your hands. If you are a beginner in a headstand, keep the palms tight together. Belly's in and just relax. Find your relaxation mode. Just Stay here until it gets comfortable. It might take a while. Most people keep their legs too far towards their face. Stretch the legs up and back away from your body, making sure everything is in one line. There's the sweet spot. It's right above your head. You'll feel it when you're there. It feels weightless. Almost like time is standing still. This is one of the most healing moments. In every asana, there's this sweet spot. Um, not always that easy to find it. But if you are there, it relaxes your mind while it makes you alert. Total awareness. In total relaxation. Okay, let's do something. I hope you got comfortable. <laughs> Press your legs together and just twist to the left side hip. So ideally, that's the um, 90 degree in a circle. So your hips will face the other wall. And switch, other side. Right side hip back, left side hip front. And then further. Breathe, relax your shoulders. There's no need for stress in your shoulders, right? Keep breathing. Turn, 
Good. Now we're going to do the same with long legs. So stretch the right leg forward towards your face, the left leg away from your face. And then turn to the left side. Breathe. Keep the belly in. Lengthen the legs. Turn. Legs up. With the exhale, you move. Stretch the legs apart. And to the other side. Come back. Legs up. Now one leg. Belly in. Lower the right. Catch the floor. If you can. Lift, lower the left, breathe, still find that spot, do you remember your intention if you had one, keep lifting the right leg up, the left leg is stretching, core is activated in a way that the left leg is moving, now bring your right leg out to the side and try and touch the floor as well, this one is harder. For most people. Breathe. Keep stretching the left leg up. Keep lengthening the spine. You will feel different uses of the shoulder, shoulder muscles. Left leg down, right leg up. Try and touch the floor. Good. Lift. Very nice. Well, that's half the circle. Let's go back down. And let's stay half. Halfway. Let's go back halfway. 90 degree. Let's stay here for a moment. It's great. Breathe. Relax your shoulders. If your triceps is weak, you're going to feel it in this one. Really tight. No, actually not tight. Activated, right? Good. And then lower. Nice. Knees down. Relax for a moment. Your forehead onto the floor. If you feel like this is um, this has not been tiring for you, you can do. Uh, extend a child with me, puppy. Otherwise, just stay in child pose, right? No problem. Good. Okay, hands down next to your forehead, around the spine. Let's move. I'll turn to the other side again. So, let's stay a little traditional. Let's make it a real easy move through the postures. Right leg forward. Where you want, stretch. Sit low, lift up. Where you too. Spine straight. Breathe. Try and get. Right hand down, left hand up. Get the left foot in a little bit. Left hand down, right arm up. Stretch the chest, exhale here. Lower. If you want to, flex your foot and bring your hands into reverse namaskar. Good. Now 
Keep the hands where they are. Lift up into warrior three. Breathe. Belly up away from your thigh. Lift the chest. Right hand down. Left hand up. Relax your neck. Step back and bring your right arm, shoulder in front of your right thigh. Bind. Look up. Lengthen, lock the left knee. Straighten the right leg. Stay in the bind if you like. And then release the bind. Come to the center. Let's do the other side. Where you want? Stretch, sit low, lift, lock the knee. Warrior two. I'm going to turn. Otherwise, I'll face the back all the time. Good. Sit. Try and get lift and push. Legs tight. Right hand down. Move it in a little bit. Left arm up. Left hip back. Exhale. Low down. Chin to the shin. Reverse Namaskar. Flex the foot. Bend the left knee and come forward. Belly away from the thigh. Lift the leg, lift the body. And stay. Breathe. Ooh. And left hand down. Arm down to the rasen. Hold him up. Cool. And then step back. Left shoulder in front of your left leg. Bind, belly in, look up. Stretch the shoulder back, pull on your arm. Straighten the leg, keep the bind if you like. Good. Come to the center. Very traditional yoga today. <laughs> Lift the chest. So you can walk through with your hands, lengthen the spine, you can go all the way through with the hands, long arms. Even from here, you can bring your palms up and go into another headstand. Straight it up. Bring the shoulders away from your ears. And straddle back down. And lift your chest, bring your hands over your chin. And do the stretch. Let's stretch the legs. We haven't done peacock for a while. Maybe we should do some peacock for a moment. And then finish up. This is supposed to be a short one. <laughs> Hear that? Lift the chest. Just um, 20 more seconds. Tighten the thighs. 
if you can relax into it and you feel that's the right thing to do, go ahead. But I always feel better activating my legs in this one. Chest up. Good. So bring your knees down and your feet in. I'll show you from the side. So you're touching the hips. You're lifting. You're spreading the knees as far as you can. Toes are back, not straight back to the butt. Grabbing the knees. Belly in, lift the belly forward, chest up. And come into your back bend. Keep lifting. Good. Round the spine. Hands in front of you. Very nice. Bring your knees just a tiny bit in and tuck the toes. Bring the hands fingers facing back between the knees bring the elbows in push against the abdomen and stretch forward lift the chest and come back nice hands down push back Right leg up. Let's do a chin stand. Lift. Breathe. Pushing to the floor. Lower. Chest up. Push back. Hmm. Right leg up. And come back into a wide thing. But then come into wheel. So you're just starting on the mat. Push against the floor. And really get the chest up. Straighten the legs if you can. Bring them together. If that's something you can do. Push against the floor. Grab the floor. Relax the shoulders. Relax the neck. And lower. We can do a little triceps push up. Why not? Come into normal wheel, not straight legs. And let's just bend, lift, bend, lift, <laughs> bend, lift, two more, bend, lift, bend. Ah, relax. Nice. Put the belly in. Circle the sacrum, right side and left side. Ah, oh, should be relaxing. Let's do a spine twist I like to do these days. It's a little uh, intense if it's not your thing, then that's okay. So bring your knees to the right, bring the right arm on top. And just lengthen the right leg down again. So grab around like you're binding in spine twist. Only you're laying on the floor. And then bring your left arm underneath your body. And grab the hand. Pull the left shoulder down. Don't pull on your right shoulder with the leg. It shouldn't hurt. It should be stretching. Ready? Relax. Change other side. Left side. Lengthen the left leg again on the floor. Bring the left arm right on top of your thigh. Bring right arm underneath your body. Grab the hands. Belly in. Relax. Lower spine, sacrum. Relax. Right shoulder. Breathe. 
Nice. All right. Very good. So just relax on the floor. Maybe roll our spine one more time. Bring your legs over your head. One more time, roll back. Bring your legs over your head. And one more time, bring your legs over your head. And relax. Try to come back to that sensation in the beginning. Where you were either waking up, mind calm, or trying to focus your intention. Thank you for joining. I wish you a beautiful day.